our AUK Scary Sharp polycarbonate plate is being machined to the right size to give us a third of a sheet of Scary Sharpening will fit onto it. It's the ideal flat substrate for doing Scary Sharpening processing on. If you take a full sheet of our Scary Sharp, I'd flip it over, mark it into three equal strips and cut it down with a straight edge. Use a cutting mat underneath, not this silicon mat. Then you can take your fresh sheet of polycarbonate, remove the covering. To lay the Scary Sharpening onto the polycarbonate plate, you could do it purely dry, but I find the best way of doing it actually is putting a little bit of water onto the plate. It's a bit like an Airfix model or if you put stickers on a van, the water helps just get the air bubbles out. We do not want air bubbles of contamination between your Scary Sharp and your plate. So get hold of the backing, start peeling this off. This is a PSA backed abrasive, pressure sensitive adhesive. Put him on your plate, try and get him so he's going relatively straight down the plate. Don't peel the whole thing off at once. Just start at the one end and roll him out. Make sure there's no air bubbles or contamination underneath. After you've laid that abrasive down, if you've got any excess water on there, you could dab to remove it. Don't take anything and rub over it. You're gonna fill your abrasive with bits of rubbish cloth. You can buy the plates individually or as a set of three. If you have them as a set of three, then you can put one abrasive on one side and another abrasive on the other. Then you've got six abrasives over three bits of polycarbonate. For me, I've actually got six bits of polycarbonate, so I've got all six grit sizes laid out. So I can sharpen and progressively go up through the grits to get my edge finer and sharper. As any abrasive or sharpening method, it will start to lose its uh, cut at some point. When that happens, simply peel the abrasive off and throw it away. I would clean the polycarbonate plate with some paraffin to remove any excess glue, and then I'd give them a quick wipe over with some methylated spirits, so it's a nice, clean, flat face again for when you re-glue on your next piece of abrasive. For our polycarbonate or our scary sharp system, check us out at woodworkersworkshop.co.uk and look at us on our social media channels.